Hey guys, you're watching Recoil TV Full Auto Friday, and today I'm gonna to talk about the ugliest 1022 in existence. It's up there. My buddy Jake is the one who built these, and aside from this weird Tapco f going on, it's Archangel, man. Come on, it's, <laughs> it's at least a step up from that. Uh, debatable, okay. but there's a little bit more going on here, and I think this is probably the easiest way to demonstrate it. So what are we it, looking at? Basically, it's the funnest 1022 you're ever gonna shoot. And I mean, I like 1022s in general. Sure, and who doesn't? I mean, it's the classic American 22. Yeah. Uh, but basically, they're uh, a full auto 1022. Um, fires from the open bolt. It's a simple conversion. Uh, remove the firing pin. Uh, the extractor's used essentially as a firing pin. So the extractor goes in, hits the rim, sets the round off, and then hooks over. Right. And so your rate of fire is basically dependent on what kind of ammunition. Yep, and theoretically, the hotter the 22, uh, the faster you're gonna shoot. We generally clock them right around uh, 1150, 1200 rounds per minute with CCI <laughs> mini mags, so. I mean, and that's pretty fast. Any faster than that, and you're probably not gonna be able to keep up with these factory magazines. I've seen some so fast that you have to use the 10 round rotary mag right. for it to work. And so your trigger is now just a bolt release and boy, do I wish someone figured this out right. before May of 86. Because right. right now, you want to get a transferable one of these, you got to go to John Norell's, and he kind of leaks them out over the years. But how much have you seen those go for? Uh, I've seen them for four grand, 4,500 bucks. I mean, they're kind of crazy. I mean, the full auto game is never cheap. Not at all. But for a 22, it, I, I just don't see it personally. Might as well just become a manufacturer. Right. So why don't we go on the range and let's try some different ammo, see how see how they shoot. And this is just gonna be like small, the, the ultimate small animal murder machine, basically. Oh, yeah. And by it. that I mean like chipmunks and squirrels and groundhogs and fascist squirrels. Yeah, fascist squirrels. Yeah. Rabbits. Rabbits are more fascist than squirrels. All right, so we're on the range here with an open bolt 1022. Remember, there's no firing pin on this. Right. We're using CCI mini mags, uh, which is not the hottest 22 ammo out there. Not at all but it also means we're less likely to jam up and 22s are pretty notorious for that. Right. So just imagine that you're shooting at fascist squirrels, okay? I thought it was rabbits. <sighs> fascist you know, rodents. Some kind of small mammal gotcha. is, all, is all we have to worry about. Gotcha. So let's go. Right on. Let's, we'll, we'll guess RPM. No, oh, that was fast. <laughs> Very. <laughs> it's pretty fast. Oh, nothing kicks over my giggle box more than something that fast and stupid. And that's exactly what it is. <laughs> well, join us next time uh, when Jake tries to use a man caliber against a fascist rabbit. <laughs>